Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when William Ruto took over power, he ruined this country in a big way. The only thing he was resorting to whenever people questioned him, it was all about that Uhuru Kenyatta left a huge debt. Gashagwa used to give a narrative of a chopper living with the money through Wilson Airport. To some time, they were selling their lie and the public was silent. So it has been all about collecting money without uh, tangible projects or progress in this country. You go to hospital, no medicine. You come to infrastructure, nothing improvement. You go everywhere, it was totally, complete shut. No development. But again, you come back to collection of revenue, you see William Ruto raising from 8% of Uru Kenyatta to 16%, double. Then come to 2024 finance bill. His appetite was all about raising the tax again. Then the youth said, enough is enough. We have seen you. Your lies have come to an end. You cannot continue to lie to us that you are, you know, clearing the method that was created by Handshake Brothers. Because the blame was on Uhuru and Raila Odinga. Well, let a BBI, Ikapeleka Pes, and all this. But they were collecting money. Who also inherited eh, a debt to pay. So Ruto, too, inherited. And even Kibaki did the same. So every government will leave a debt. Even William Ruto will leave a debt that will be inherited with the next government that will take over from him. So the narrative had an end. And when the end came, the youth in this country, <laughs> Gen Z's, they took it to the street. And what angered them was the appetite to increase taxes without consideration in terms of how is it affecting the business. What about the common manage? So they said enough is enough. Reject finance bill. Ruto alijifanya mutu ambaye haski. They pushed it to the parliament. The parliament passed. And on the day they were passing, the youth made their way to the National Assembly. They go to the parliament building. They entered the, the speaker chamber. It was all about reject finance bill. With that, it was enough threat to send William Ruto home. Because what stopped them from getting to status? If they come in the thousands, how do you shoot everyone? You will have a case to answer at ICC. Mass killing. So Ruto was under threat. If you look on his right, he sees Genesis. On his left, there is opposition leadership. As a male or more than one Kenya. What did he do? He decided that I will take one side. Then he went for the political side. As a male or more and he put the ODM party. So ODM is finally um, involved in this government. They are not coming out clear. They are still playing game. But the reality is that there is some arrangement, post-election agreement between ODM and William Ruto. So with this move, we have seen a kind of betrayal to the youth by the opposition because the youth were coming in eh, to fight for their right and they thought in their mind that opposition will support them by speaking it in the parliament. When they get to the TV, they speak of the same. Wherever they get, they join them in the fight, including facilitating when it comes to arrest or provide legal help common lawyers. But now... ODM is with the government. So the question has been, what next? <laughs> so today we have had the citizen assembly and uh, one man, Kasmul Makoure, gave his views as far as way forward to the Gen Z's in this situation we are in as of now. Because Ruto is now all over the country celebrating that I'm forming a government of national unity. So you are threatening Gen Z's and their plan.
because you are almost going home. So you find a new friend. The question is, what next? Which way forward? Casmul uh, Mark Oure has answered this question. Listen to him, then we are going to conclude this discussion. Come. And I say this because just to bounce off what my sister Comrade Sefu has said, if we tire, we despise the blood of Rex. If we tire, we despise the blood of Shuja Kennedy, a 12-year-old boy who was shot. If we tire, we are sanctioning that children should be tear gassed in schools. If we tire and if we lose our momentum, we are enabling a corrupt regime. It is ensuring that all of you who are in queer in pursuit of a better future will never get into a workforce. And if you do, you need to have the surname of a person currently sitting in government. I think the way we can sustain uh, and personally what drives me uh, to be part of this movement is the fact that there are people who once left home and will never go back. There are people who left home on the 25th and on the day we occupied parliament who are going to exercise their democratic right to assembly and will never walk again. I think about these people and ask myself what is so special about me that I should be tired. How, what makes me so special that I get the right to be tired? Does the mother of Rex, who has, moved, has, has shared one of the most heartbreaking stories I've had, does she get the luxury of being tired? Her son was out to ask for better governance, to ask for a better future. For me, he lay his life down so that I might be able to make it for the Citizens' Assembly. I think it is only wise that I contribute that way. If I get tired, Evans Kiraito, who was shot by the police, because these are not victims of accidental happenings. They were not struck by acts of God. These are victims of police excesses and police brutality. We are living in a country that has a police force that is living under the guise of a police service. If I get tired, does uh, the couple that raised Evans that is now being detained at Central Police Station have the luxury to be tired? And I think while it is exhausting, while we live in a world where you're supposed to be a student and this is not how we envisioned to spend our 20s, certainly not for me, in the gift of community, in knowing that I can look to the side and see my sister fighting, I can look to my side and see my brother fighting, I can look to you and see you reporting the facts as they are without being gagged, those are some of the things we can do. There is most definitely going to be protest fatigue as is the norm of any protest that we undergo as human beings but for the sake of the sanctity of their lives of the comrades we lost for the sake of the families they left behind for the sake of the dreams and the brains that were splattered on parliament road we cannot afford to get tired it is okay to take some rest but for the sake of the comrades who've gone before us let us not tire let us not tire and i think um just both what you and Sephora have alluded to is those before us didn't so why should we you have though very accurately talked about protest fatigue and i think there's going to need to be conversation now i want us to conclude this discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to our channel member samasa thank you so much and again to all our viewers please please Give this video a thumbs up and where necessary you can share. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, I have seen some individuals trying to dismiss Marco Ure. And you know what? There was one man, Mobutu. Mobutu was a leader in charge of a country. What did he do? Mobutu used to send the musician from his country to Paris to stay there. Reason? Why? Simply because their music alone was enough to cause trouble to his leadership. So before you dismiss Mark Oure, the bottom line is here that do not unread the speech by that young man.
It planned a sense of political direction among the youth. And it can be realized. Parents also are listening. They can join their sons and daughters, Gen Z's, in this struggle. He is very articulative. The plan, strategy, and the mechanism. It's very clear. I've seen some people referring to him as a cool insider. <laughs> I don't know how. But I see reality in his speech. Because he's asking the question, if we tire as Gen Z, so what next? And he goes ahead to answer, we despise the blood of those who died while fighting for change. If we tire, we are sanctioning that children should be tear gassed in schools. Remember, Ruta Kiwa, Deputy President, tear gas shamba inaenda, ata saizi watoto wanapigwa tear gas, Dania Darasa, chini ya wongozo umesimiwa William Ruto. I have the clips from last year's protest that was led by Raila Odinga and the current the one that we are having. That if we tire, we are enabling corruption or corrupt regime. If we tire, we are enabling bad governance. So many things. So, it is not yet over. The fight should continue. That is his, his position. Because once we keep quiet, we give them a chance to loot. Right now, they are afraid that in case anything get out, Confano, they have been involved in some corruption, it is going to explode. So with that, they are very careful. Now, there are people who are also giving comments, and I want to read just four comments only on this statement. Mukoro, this is what he say, nice, brilliant young man. If we tire, he will be lonely fighting in the trenches. We should never let the Gen Z's down. By whatever means, let's support the cause. Jack Wachiri, this boy, 10 years down the line, should be giving politicians a run for their money if he stay on the same trajectory. Douglas Hinga, I'm not yet able to pronounce his name, so I just nickname him Tom Boyer of our times. <laughs> Another one here, Alex Kimboy, this is a brilliant guy. You guys say English is not a means of a measure of intelligence, but intelligence begins from somewhere and it goes it got signs and one of its it is the ability to articulate. Indeed, he is so articulate. Besides this, I have seen one of his videos also, putting a demand on William Ruto as far as those who have suffered, injured, beaten, brutalized by police and way forward. Here are some of the demand he put forward. We as the Gen Z movement have the following demands. With the above in mind, we hereby make these following demands. One, that the office of the president immediately issues a status report to Kenyans on the state of investigations of the 60 killings of our comrades in the recent protests. Two, that the office of the president immediately confirms and shares with the public the official number, names and details of comrades killed in the recent protests. Yes. Three that the office of the president immediately directs all relevant institutions, including, but not limited to, IPOA, IAU, DCI, and ODPP, to collect evidence in the next seven days of police excesses shared by Kenyans, particularly the Gen Z's on social media. Comrade Power. 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 That the office of the president immediately calls for the suspension of all officers highlighted in the social media using excessive force pending finalization of investigations. Comrade Power. 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 That once investigations are complete, the office of the president immediately causes the arrest and charging in court of all rogue police officers for the murder and assault of protesters and journalists. Comrades Power. Power. Six, that the office of the president further calls 
for the resignation of officers in command, including OCSs of areas where killings were reported. Comrades, power. 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 Last but not least, our seventh demand is that the office of the president immediately, immediately issues stern <coughs> warnings against any officer who will be found using excessive force in dealing with people. Now, after there, what Kasmul Makoura is calling for, it is a continuation of Gen Z's protest. So if they will organize themselves Tuesday, we might have a protest. It is not yet over until it's over. If Ruto is celebrating today for appointing four individuals from ODM part, think that he's safe, he is not yet safe. Opposition is not enough to save him. We still have the youth on the road. They are jobless. They can't survive. The economy is hard. And the move is that they have to continue with this fight. That is what Mark Owen is calling for. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.